friends, welcome to my crazy life in 2023. It's Lori and I've got a lot of Dollar Tree stuff. So up until now, I haven't been finding much of anything, but I need to make some, move this out of the way. There we go. <clears throat> but I went to the Dollar Tree the last couple of days and found a ton of brand new stuff. So I'm going to break it up over several videos just so it's not extra long. But I wanted to show you the things I got. So, sorry, I'm fixing you. And there's the boys belly up to the fire. Um, yes, so without further ado, I'm going to have this video, this outfit, this same place for one, two, three, four smallish videos. But that way you can see all the things and we can talk about it. And yes. Plus, once my skin starts doing weird stuff, it'll be easier on me. So let's go. First of all, this is not new, but it is exciting. These are back this year. And I'm pretty sure you can get them online. But these are the buckets. What I love about these is they have a square shape to them. So they're not, they don't go in at the bottom. So they actually hold more. I have four of these in my bathroom in my linen closet full of all my toothbrushes and tooth oral hygiene stuff. I have one full of travel size everything. I have one with all my backup shower gel and I have one with all of my hair product and I just leave them stacked in my closet and then when I need it, I pull it out. They also fit in a three-tiered cart. You can They fit two side by side if you have a three-tiered. So I'm gonna be using these two for my three-tiered cart that I got from Christmas, which I will have that video or you have already seen that video. But these are great. I love it that they're clear and when I store craft stuff or household stuff, I can see what's in them. So I love these. I only grab two because I don't feel like I need more than two. I'm having coffee, of course, in my Ohio mug. And for perspective, it's New Year's Day. Um, another not repeat, but I ran out is pink Himalayan salt. Let me tell you, like, this is what, $1.25? I saw a bag, now it was probably two pounds. These are one pound at Ma uh, Marshall's for $7.99. Dollar Tree is where it's at. I love pink Himalayan salt, so this is what I picked up. Just as an aside. Now, it's New Year's Day, and I think I've already started Christmas shopping for next year. But I found these fun socks. These are Crazy Socks Express Yourself. And I don't know. I don't think they're Dollar Tree. But these are Swedish Fish. They say they're for men's. Men's shoe size. So I got Swedish Fish and Macaroni and Cheese. And I have a teenage boy who I think will love these. So I'm keeping these. These both say men's size 6 to 12. They're crew and the brand is Crazy Socks. How exciting. Isn't that fun? There were two pair of each left at my store that I went to. So I grabbed those. Going to start early. I'll just put them away for next year's Christmas. Now I did go into the craft section. And I found, ooh, I have a whole other video coming up on just craft stuff, but I found these. And this is crafting paper pads. Now, I know they sell these big craft blocks, but this is so fun. Look at, these are all the sheets that are in there. And it's exactly what they look like. Like, how fun is that? And you get two, I'm assuming, of each animal. Yeah, look at the owl. I just think these are going to be so fun. You can put these in a planner, in a notebook, frame them, hang them on a wall. I mean, they're just perfect. And then they had one that had all kinds of sayings, but I just picked up one of those um, because, well, duh, crafting. Then I found this book. They had this one that said stuff, and there was a brown one that said, I think, God on it or something. I'm not really sure what, if it said God or good, I couldn't really read it, but... I preferred this one, and here is what's so fun. It's cream paper, but it's not, it's blank. So you could sketch in this, you could make lists, you could start a bullet journal in here. You get 64 sheets. Um, 
when I got mine, they were <laughs> the page, the the covers were stuck together. It's just plastic, but it feels like fake leather. And I just think these, you know how I am with notebooks. I try not to buy them, but when I see something like this that I think really literally is a blank canvas, that this is something fun for yourself or gifting, Mother's Day's coming up, Valentine's Day. I mean, there's all kinds of things you can pre-shop for, but I thought this was fantastic and definitely better than $1.25 in my humble opinion. Okay, in the beauty section, I hit some kind of jackpot. I don't know what. The brand is called Amy. Let's take a thumbnail. Should we get the boys in the thumbnail? Um, Amy is the brand. What I liked about it, it's 97% natural. It is dermatologist approved, cruelty free, and it smells pretty good. Um, and they had, this is glow and bright face wash. And then they had clear and calm clay masks. So they had different properties to them. This is a, um, hydraulic or hydro toner. So you put this on after and it, um, gets your skin. And this was a two pack glow and bright illuminating face mist. Now, I looked up online. They do sell these at Target, and they're like 3 to $5 a piece at Target. I'm going to give these to my young cousin who is in high school because I think she will appreciate some skin care. And again, for $1.25 a piece, one, two, three, four, $5, I got her an entire skin care set up for her face. And she can do a little mask and face wash. And I like that it's all natural. And I think they've won some awards too. I did look them up online. I don't know where the products are made, but I'm assuming they do not sell them in China because they are cruelty free. And they smell good too. So I picked up those um, four pack of those. My ear itches. Did you ever get that where your earrings itch? Okay, I might've lost my marbles. Now, I kind of went a little gaga. I walked in, and they're calling this gold. I'm calling this copper. These are grids for your wall, right? So we'll just do one. I bought a set of two. One up, they were a dollar a piece. Um, it holds a fair amount, but they also had for them these baskets that can hang it's going to be hard to see because they're metal but they had little baskets that you could hang off of them right in different sizes so I got two of each of the baskets I'm hanging this over my wall on my in my craft room but they had this size and they have this deeper size so I grabbed two of those and then they had shelves like a hanging shelf. Now this is similar to the um, pegboard setup, but I like this so much better because it's gold. Now, and I think this is gonna be more sturdy. I did find that that pegboard setup wasn't very sturdy um, as far as that goes, but they have for this, and they're called wire net connectors. So I have to assume that they somehow come apart. Oh, this goes up. Okay, so what we'll do is rip this open or not. I should have got scissors out, guys, but I didn't. So I'm just ripping off. Um, there we go, okay. So there's a little arrow on the back. And let's see, I think you have to go, oh, okay. Okay, so you take the back piece off and that goes in here flat. And then you slide, I believe, Sorry, I'm trying to do this and show you at the same time. Well, 
there we go. I got to get it in here. So I have it all the way up. All right. Well, let's see. This is very bizarre. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going completely the wrong direction. Okay, so you pull it up and it goes in sideways here and here. We'll just pretend. It goes this direction and then this slides up between and it will hold them together. So you could do like three or four to hold them together vertically or horizontally. I'm putting them back together because that's how I roll. And then it snaps into place and it holds them on either side. And you get in a package, one package, you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve connectors, which I find is a very generous deal for a dollar twenty-five. Right? So we get the connectors so you can hang more than one up. And then they have this, which I believe you use this to hang them on the wall. Pretty sure you do. And again, these feel much more stable than the other. And shock above shock, it comes with directions. And nails. So I can see here that it goes in here and, and it, um, it'll hang from this but I don't know how we're taking the cap apart. Hmm. Well, I assume you pry it apart with a screwdriver or not my fingernail. You pry it apart, you attach that to the wall, you hang your metal and you snap this cover over and you get four of these so I can hang two on each and then you can snap them together so they don't move. And I just feel like this is a hundred times more um, stable. And then you get some little nails. However, if I'm going to hang it on my wall, I'm probably going to use like a, a Molly situation. I think I want to try to get this open, but I don't know how. Well, it tells you how to do, oh, it says you put one on each corner, but I only got one set, so, but there's the directions, but that's what you hook it to, but I think what I would use is like a molly bolt to go into the drywall if I don't find a stud. However, I don't know if these are 16 inches across. Just says square shaped wire. So I don't think you would be able to hit stud. I think you would have to do like drywall. But anyway, so I'm gonna have fun trying to hook that up. And then I will see if I need any other pieces. Like this will hang and it's a flat section. But then I thought I could put some crafting supplies up there. So what I'm gonna do is put all of this stuff in one of these containers so I don't lose it. How about that? I think that's a good idea. What do you think? Um, okay. And then the last pieces that I found at my store to this set, they had different size binder clips. I got the small, but they had larger ones, which I don't know why I didn't pick. Oh, I did. No, I didn't. I picked up two small, but look at them. They're gold. I will go back if I can remember and get the large clips. So I got binder clips and then look at these paper clips. How fun is that? So these are just regular paper clips with hearts and an arrow, which this is all about my Pelotonia. And then these are just like super cute. So I, that was all the stuff I got that was brand new at my Dollar Tree. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what they're putting out because I'm finding, again, at different stores, different items. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed part one of the haul, which we're going to just call storage 
store new storage containers i'm excited that they're bringing these back as well i really enjoy these and they went really fast online last year so if this is something that you would like to have i would either get in store or get online um, my favorite for my craft storage were the flat ones they were dub they were probably double this width but they were only like this deep and i use those to hold stickers for my planners and markers and all kinds of stuff but they're fantastic and they also stack really nice on top of each other so i think it's fun all right i hope you enjoy and i'll be back soon bye